Hello, it is Tuesday, January 31st, 2012 at 127 a.m. Central Standard Time. I want to talk to you about a few earthquakes um, that have occurred. Um, first of all, I want to point out this one up by Chicago. Um, we had the nuclear reactor situation where it shut off and they had to let off some steam and that happened, the shutdown was at 1615 UTC, which is 10 15 Central Standard Time. And this earthquake near that area occurred on January 31st at 3.54 UTC. So basically about 12 hours after the event. And then also I wanted to show you, I was up here in Google Earth checking out all the earthquakes. Actually I was looking at the AMISR and it's Advanced Modular Incoherent Scatter Radar. No. I'll have to go, let's see. I'm still learning this stuff. <laughs> Advanced Modular Incoherent Scatter Radar, that's right. Okay, so going back over here, when I was zoomed in, you can see that we've got a couple different kind of radars. There's a high pass scatter also, which I can't remember what that is right off. Oh, here it is. High pass scatter, high power auroral stimulation observatory. So it must just be a way to watch, I'm not sure. But I was in here looking at this and there's this inter interesting sequence of earthquakes here. There's one, two, three. And according to, this is a USGS way, way to um, bring earthquakes into Google Earth. And according to this, yellow is the, in the past week. So, looking at this, these happened in the last week, but they're, what's interesting is they're in between these two locations. And it's supposed to light up, you know, highlight and tell me what the earthquake is when I put the little hand over it. But my little hand doesn't seem to be working tonight, so <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly when they occurred. But I don't, and I don't know if you can see them here because they're kind of small. But first, I'll, let me just show you what the... Um, AMISRs look like. This one's at Poker Flat. And it's not very, um, well this is an older image. Let me give you the latest one. Let's just turn that off. There's a little clock up here that you can turn off and on the different time. So right now we're at the most current image which is two 2007, which isn't always true, because this is 2009 right here. Right down here is the date. I'm not sure if it's showing, and that doesn't look very good either. So let's just go to back down the dates a little bit, see if we get something better. Not really. Well, this isn't too bad. That's 2007, so they've put the clearest one on. That's nice. Oh, that one you can't see anything. Anyway, um, zooming back out here. Oh, that's really a bad image. Let me put it back on the most current. In looking at these earthquakes, I don't have my mouse hooked up, so I'm having to use my little keys here. It's not the fastest way to go. But here, here are the three earthquakes, and well, I want to show you this other one first, the high pass, so you can see what it looks like. And you can see it's like little, I don't know, these must be little antenna things coming out of this building. There's one here, one here, one here. Looks like a few shorter ones. One, two, three short ones, and one, two, three long ones. And let's see, we can see a faint shadow. So it's something in the, in the air that's got an X. See that? There's the stem of it. And I'm zooming back out because I want to show you that these three earthquakes.
And again, they, they occurred sometime in the past week, so I assume that's in the last seven days. But if I take my little um, measuring device and turn it on, the little ruler, and I go from the tip of this, where this is located, to, oh, now it's going to be the armory, to this one up here, you can see that it intersects this one earthquake right here. And it's between the high pass scatter and the AMISR, it's 25.62 miles. And then if I go and, I'm supposed to clear it. Well, we'll click on this earthquake here. All right, I'll we'll click on this one here in the center one and go over here and up by my ruler thing right up here, you can see that it's 2.4, six four four miles between the center one and that one and then going down to this one down here it's 2.44 miles 2.41 well right in there so they're equal distance and I found that to be interesting and then something else is, is this one occurred in the middle of this I don't know what this is um, looks like a mining operation of some sort and it's probably not easy for you to see this earthquake. It's a very small dot. It's right here. It's yellow. And uh, there's a building with tanks. Or I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a parking lot here with quite a few cars. And then a big long thing here. So I'm not sure if, if you know, these are connected to what happened near Chicago or not, but I made another vi video that you can go look at that seems to tie some kind of activity, magne magnetometer activity, to um, the reactor shutting down. So there you have it, um, four little earthquakes to consider. Thank you and God bless you. Have a good night.